hello and welcome to our youtube channel in this video we bring to you how to put a roof on a shipping container how stay tuned as we show you how step by step Good, welcome back. The walls and the roof of shipping containers are designed to be watertight and therefore it's possible to live in a shipping container house without any additional roof. However, there are advantages that come with an additional roof onto your shipping container house. These include one, an additional roof will help you to enhance the charm and the beauty of your shipping container house. Secondly, a shed roof is extremely affordable and is also very simple to build. Therefore, it might not demand so much from your pocket when you decide to add one. Thirdly, a roof offers an appropriate surface area for rainwater catchment hence making your rainwater harvesting process much simpler. Fourthly, the sloping roof will also provide a nice surface area to fix solar panels. Last but not least, an additional roof will help you with insulation and temperature regulation on your shipping container house, hence reducing the energy demands for your house. So without further ado, Let's look at this process one by one. Step one to install steel metal brackets along the entire length of your shipping container. Install steel metal brackets with pre-drilled holes on the side of the top beam of the shipping container. Mark out the position of the metal brackets at least 900 millimeters apart along the entire length of the shipping container on both sides. Always remember to grind off the metal paint on the marked out positions to prevent the release of hazardous fumes from the paint during the welding. Alternatively, you can attach the metal brackets onto the top beam using self-tapping screws with neoprene washers to prevent corrosion and you can also add a bit of silicone to keep the holes watertight. You will need to clean the roof of your shipping container and sandblast all areas with rust. You will then apply a metal primer onto the container roof and all the additional metal brackets that you have welded. Apply a marine grade epoxy plus an anti-corrosive metal paint to protect the container roof against rust from any rainwater that will pull on the roof in case of any leakage from your new roof. The second step is to attach the wall plates. You first of all need to attach 4x2 on one side and 2x2 timber wall plates on the opposite side by bolting it through the holes in the metal bracket. The difference in height for the wall plates is to help us get sufficient gradient for the roof. Introduce tie beams at 2 meter spacing in between the wall plates for additional bracing to the timber beams. Ensure the timber used is well seasoned to prevent rotting and also should be well treated with anti-termite. Step 3. Attach the rafters. Attach rafters on top of the wall plates by nailing them into place. Use longer rafters to overhang the walls of the containers to shield the openings from weather elements. Remember to use hurricane straps for additional bracing of the rafters to protect against rough winds if you live in a hurricane prone environment. Ensure all the rafters are level to prevent water from pulling onto your new roof. At number four, you need to fix the paling. 
Nail onto the rafters wooden palings with 900 mm spacings along the entire length of the shipping containers. Ensure the timber is level throughout to prevent water pooling on the roof. With all the timber work complete, it's time to cover the roof. The roof can be covered using either shingles, galvanized metal sheets, or tiles. Since the containers are built with their own roof, galvanized metal sheets are highly recommended for additional simple roof cover since they are very easy to install, they are also durable and highly affordable. Ensure the roof has sufficient ventilation. The rafters should overhang the container to allow for the fixing of the fascia and the soffit boards underneath the trusses. The soffit board should have at least an inch air gap in the middle of it or covered with mesh wire to allow for air to flow in and out of the roof. Sufficient ventilation of your roof is essential to avoid heat traps, to also prevent condensation which will cause rust on your shipping containers, but more importantly help you with temperature regulation. With all this done and dusted, you should be ready to admire your new roof. Whichever roof type you use, you are encouraged to consult a structural engineer to help you with the calculation of the load bearing requirements of your roof and also any special requirements to consider depending on your location. We hope you found our analysis exhaustive and informative enough to help you put a simple roof on your shipping container project. If you've built your own shipping container home, kindly let us know what type of roof you used by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos on shipping container homes. Thank you for your time and see you in the next video.